Hi, welcome back to Night After Night. My first guest tonight uh, co-stars with Billy Crystal in Mr. Saturday Night. And if that wasn't enough, Helen Hunt premieres September 23rd in Mad About You with Paul Reiser. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do men propose to you a lot? Wow. Because, uh, I mean, because you... Good morning. Every time, I, when I've seen you in films, now I meet you, know, you're just instantly likable and just seem like a great person to marry. Are you proposing marry. to me? Because no. it's like amazing on television. You're not proposing right No, I'm now. not. I, I don't okay. know you well enough. Fantastic. And um, I, if I did, I'd probably check it out. <laughs> 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 um, my father, when he asked my mother to marry him, by the way, said, I've been thinking about asking you to marry me. <laughs> Period. Hey, he was ahead of his time. My mom said, well, if you ever decide you'd like that, I would also like that. <laughs> um, do men propose to me a lot? You know, no. You know, men just like say maybe they will and then they don't and I don't want them. No. You're really. the kind of girl I could marry, that kind of thing? Yeah, I do. I, I play those parts a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's any indication. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you play uh, Paul Reiser's wife? I Mad play about Paul you? Reiser's wife. It's um, a show just about this newlywed couple and we're five months into a marriage and that's what it's about. Yeah, you've never been married? No. Have you ever lived with anybody or? Uh, <laughs> I don't mean Hello. to get too personal. No, <laughs> much more personal. I well, you know. Uh, yeah, I've sort of lived with someone. We sort of like, sort of did it, but kept one very important foot out the door. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad it was a foot. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, the, the reason I asked is because you're in a relationship. Uh, yes. I, I, you know, and you, did you do any research? Did you talk to married friends? <laughs> I lived with a guy just. I just told him I needed to live with him because of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to live with you, really, if I'm on this TV show, see, so. Gabriel um, Byrne, I'm thinking. <laughs> um, I just laughed, and I didn't hear what you said. Uh, no, I just, it would, you didn't need to hear it. Okay. We'd be, we'd but like I'd hate for like, like a, a fake laugh couple. to be right there on TV. Yeah. Uh, I, it's like a relationship show as much as anything, so I can certainly draw from the comedy of my own relationships. How'd you get into it? part. Um, I knew Paul Reiser a little bit. His wife and a friend of mine are friends, and we had them to dinner, and uh, we got into this big conversation at this dinner party about marriage and relationships and what changes once you get married and what doesn't change. And four months later, he called me and said, I wrote this thing, and would you read it? And I wasn't planning on doing a TV show, but I said I would read it because I think he's hilarious. And I loved it, and here I am. I jumped right in. Now, uh, is it television something you wanted to stay away from, or you want to concentrate I, more on films? Or Yeah, that was my idea. I had done this movie, The Water Dance, this year that I was very proud of, and then Mr. Saturday Night, and so it seemed like not a likely time to decide to do a TV show. But I, I used to get very frustrated, I still do, when I hear that people don't hire actors for movies because they're on television, like it's, shouldn't it be about whether the actor's right for the part or whether he's good. So it seemed to turn down this wonderful material because it was television was like to make the same stupid mistake. And I, it's been great. It's like doing a little two-character romantic comedy every week. It's it's really a unique thing. Now, you, uh, you were raised in Los Angeles. Back and forth, like half here, actually, and half there. Half here in New York? Mm hmm And your dad was an acting coach? Or? He's, he is an acting coach and a director. Did he coach you? Did you mm -hmm. take I lessons? I studied with him. Really? What was that like? It was not weird the way everybody would think it would be weird. I, I realized, though, in the last couple of years that what was probably weird were the poor men that I asked to do love scenes with me in the class were like, oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how great it was for them. I just didn't even think about it. And uh, your grandmother's a voice coach? Mm -hmm. Now, did you study with her as mm -hmm. well? Yeah. That must have been, uh, you know, very supportive. I mean, a lot of people get into acting and, you know, their parents worry about them. I'm or very lucky. I hear about people that, you know, friends of mine who are actors who their parents like don't like what they do or don't understand it or when are you gonna get a real job and, and I never had any of that I had like real support my whole life so now you got uh, your TV shows coming out yeah. and the buzz is great does that make you nervous that the buzz is great yeah no because I think if the buzz was bad it would that like now we're getting total support all the time and I would not want to be working this hard and, and not feel that they were at least gonna give it a fair shot and you got a movie coming out but I'm and, very excited. About yeah, it. and you've got a movie and a TV show. Uh, has there been a time when you didn't have anything? And yeah, definitely. In fact, we just did an episode of the show about <clears throat> uh, Paul is uh, hoping, he plays a documentary filmmaker, and I play a PR sort of corporate type. And he's up for a film that he wants to do, and I'm up for a big promotion, and I get mine, and he doesn't get his. And there we are, and I want to celebrate, and he wants to be depressed, and we're just stuck in this life together. And I told him that I remember being on both sides of that, you know, being the one whose boyfriend was off getting wonderful jobs while I didn't, and, and it sucked. What's that ways. like? When, what was <laughs> that like when your boyfriend awful. was off getting wonderful jobs? And 
you know, it's really hard. It's really hard. You want to be like supportive, and part of you is really pissed off. That's not you. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk about Mr. Saturday Night. You, you play an agent in that. Yeah, I kind of play my agent actually. I'm, really? Yes, my agent is this agent, this very powerful CAA corporate. Oh, the uh, Ovitz. Yes, sir. I am pie building, or is that is that? I'm not making fun. You made fun. No, no, uh, no. That <laughs> hey, hey, I'm in basic cable. I, you know, <laughs> I'm really not going to worry about Ovitz pulling my plug. But uh, I just always say to friends of mine who aren't with CA, like, come join us. <laughs> be one of us. <laughs> Don't be afraid. You're resisting, aren't you? Just it, be one of us. It, what, what is it like to be a client of CAA? Do you get all the offers first, even the mail parts, before <laughs> yeah. other people get them? <laughs> I, no, I don't know. It's, it's good. <laughs> It's good. What, no, it is. It's it, very no, good. One thing I have heard about <laughs> the place. I just started crying. Right <laughs> That'd be okay. <laughs> we get anything to help our ratings. That'd be fine. The, this all came about. This conversation started because this agent of mine, Carol Bodie, um, is is who I modeled this part after. Billy Crystal plays this character, that, Buddy Young Jr., who's a 75-year-old Borscht Belt comic who can't get arrested. And he goes to an old friend of his um, who's the head of this big powerful agency and the friend promises, Jerry Orbach plays this part and promises, yes, I'm going to be involved in your career. And I'll meet you at the Friars Club. And in walks me. And I've never really heard of anybody, but I'm just thrilled to be here. And, and um, he, our relationship in the movie is about how he kind of ruffles my feathers and says, like, you better learn about these Harry Ritz and, you know, all these guys that I came from. And, and was it fun playing an agent? I mean, is it good yeah. to, to do that for a while? What was fun is that there, I got to sort of change in the, during the course of the movie. I, I made her in the beginning as sort of slick and smooth and chilling as I could. And then by the end, that she really fell in love with this guy in a way, you know, just cared about him. So she end. was an unusual agent, really, by the end. Join us. <laughs> Be one of us. Uh, Helen, uh, thank <laughs> we're out of time. <laughs> CAA, human sacrifices I hear every Wednesday and Saturday. <laughs> At the CAA agency, Helen Hunt, uh, wow. Mad About You with Paul Reiser. Looking forward to that. Yes. And uh, Mr. Saturday Night mm -hmm. with Billy Crystal. Uh, you don't have to be jealous of anybody anymore. <laughs> yeah. We'll be right back after this. Thank you.